Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at breakout rooms in Zoom and how you can get started. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, last week's video on Zoom was all about the basics and how you can get started on Zoom. But in today's video, I'm going to dive into one of those questions that I was asked in the comment section, and that is how do I activate breakout rooms? Now, breakout rooms are an incredible incredibly useful feature when you're teaching large groups and it allows you to split up your groups into smaller teams. Now you as a host can still hop from team to team and then you can bring everyone back together. Now setting it up requires you to go into your settings first. Now there's two ways that you can get to those settings. First of all, you could open up your web browser and then make sure that you are logged into your Zoom account. Now, if you want to get a quick access to this from the application itself, well, you can do that as well. Simply click on that cog wheel in the top right corner and then find the button at the bottom that says view more settings. This will take you straight to that website and then you can dive into those settings right there. Now back onto the website. Now on this website, you're going to want to find the button that says settings on the left hand side. So go ahead and click on that settings button. Then we're going to be looking for the in meeting settings and in particular the advanced meeting settings. So go ahead and click on advanced meeting settings and your first option right there is going to be to activate your breakout rooms. So we're going to click on in meeting advanced and then we're going to switch on our breakout rooms. Now we're also going to allow our host to assign participants to a breakout room when scheduling a meeting. Now I'll show you in a little bit how that's done, but let's see what a breakout room looks like in action. So now that we've activated this, we can start using breakout rooms. So let's start up a Zoom meeting. Now I'm going to quickly close down this browser and I'm going to start a new meeting. Now here you can see this is my webcam view again from the Zoom meeting and the meeting is starting up. Now the first thing you'll notice is there are no other participants in this room but I can still show you exactly how to set up a breakout room. Now at the bottom you will see that there is now an extra option. One of these options is now the breakout rooms. So let's go ahead and click on that button right there. So we have the breakout rooms. Now what you can do is you can have Zoom automatically assign people into breakout rooms or you can do it manually. Now when you do use automatically, you can still change it afterwards. So let's say that you have two students together in the same breakout room and you know they don't work well together, well you can change that manually afterwards. Let's say you have nine participants, well then Zoom might suggest three groups of three for your breakout rooms. Now I'm going to stick it to automatically because there are no participants per room because I'm the only one present. What you can do is click on create rooms. Here you now get an overview of all the breakout rooms. Now this is where you can rearrange your participants. You can also manually add a room, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to click on add a room. And there we go, we now have a second breakout room. When you hover over these rooms, you can rename them, you can delete them, or you can assign participants to this room. Now this makes it super easy to create multiple rooms and you can create up to 50 breakout rooms for your teams to work in. Now once you've made these rooms, all you have to do then is open the rooms and your participants will be sent into the breakout room. When you then choose to close these rooms, well, you can call them all back to your main meeting. This is incredibly useful in classrooms. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into these options because there's a number of extra options I wanna show you there. Now, these extra options will facilitate some amazing teamwork. You can move all participants into the breakout rooms automatically, which means that they don't have to manually move. This is great for younger students. You can allow your participants to return to the main session at any time, or you can just untick that and then they have to stay in the breakout room for the duration of the time that you've assigned it. You can automatically close that breakout room after about 30 minutes or whatever you set it to. So you could even set this to, let's say that you only keep the room open for two minutes. Well, then you can tick this box here and you can only keep the room open for two minutes. You can then get notified when the time is up and you can have a countdown after closing the breakout room, which means that you can tell everyone, okay, two minutes before the room is closed, then you close the room and they get a countdown. And when the countdown reaches zero, they get thrown out of that breakout room. This is an incredibly useful feature when you're teaching online and when you have large groups of participants. And when you have very large groups of participants. 
Now for now, I'm going to just cancel this because there is one more thing I want to show you about breakout rooms and that is assigning people into breakout rooms before the meeting even takes place. Now in order for you to do that, we're going to have to dive onto the web interface. So let's go ahead and end this meeting for everyone. And let's go to the web interface. Now let's say that I'm scheduling a meeting. Well, I can go into schedule a meeting and we're just going to leave this by its default settings. I'm going to schedule a meeting of 30 minutes long. And then as I scroll down, you'll see now that the settings have been turned on, I can also take this extra additional box. And this is breakout rooms pre-assigned. So what I can do is I can take that and I can create my breakout rooms. That means that I can pre-assign a breakout room to my participants before the meeting has even taken place. You can also upload a CSV file, which makes it even easier for you to assign large groups of participants. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you scroll down into that comment section below. Let me know how are you using breakout rooms? What are your top tips for using breakout rooms? Now, once you've left your comments, scroll back up, hit that bell notification and that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.